So I think I've said many times on this channel that I am a huge fan of old Pokemon cards. I've been collecting since I was about six or seven years old and I went out and I found some lucky packets of old back Pokemon cards. These are the original cards back from like 1996, 1997. We have 10 of these to open up. So let's see if we can get anything legendary in our little gamble. Oh, we can. Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. We're gonna be opening up 10 packets of 10 random Oripa cards that have old back cards in them. Basically, one of these packets cost 500 yen so we got 10 of them we spent about 50 bucks in total to get some old cards there were i believe about 200 different kind of packets like these that you can get and we just picked 10 from one section i actually got an old back lugia that's up on the shelf up there somewhere from one of these before so i'm hoping that we can still get lucky so uh, let's see what we get i'm gonna leave this one till last because it's the only one with a sticker on it everything else doesn't have a sticker so uh, let's just go in order i guess we'll go like this and uh let's start with our first packet so there are 10 cards in here i don't know what order these cards are in we're gonna take a look and i don't know what quality they're in either you can already see there's like some white kind of specks at the top oh that's a horribly damaged card but um let's take a look see so these came from a shop called dragon star Oh, God, that is a nostalgic, nostalgic card. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so I guess the back card must be some kind of shiny or something or some kind of holographic. Wow, we got Blaine. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. Is it scratched? I think it might be a little bit scratched. Um, wow, that is cool. And actually, the back of the card's not bad quality. But what else did we get? We got... What else did we get? What else did we get? So we got a plus power. Wow, a dark war turtle. That's cool. We also have, ooh, Dugong. Dugong. We have Misty's Horsey. Wow, look, God, these are so nostalgic. Oh my God. Misty's Horsey. We have a Seedra. Oh my God, from the fossil set. Damn, look at that. We have a potion. We have an another dark war turtle. Okay. We got a dark octillery. That's cool. Oh my goodness, we got a Vaporeon card as well. Dark Vaporeon, look at you. My goodness. Oh, there's Blaine again. Wow, that's cool. Oh my god, I hope every packet's like this. So I don't know how much these cards are worth. I'm just going to put probably some total on the screen. <laughs> because I think the Japanese cards are a little bit less than the English cards. Um, I'm not sure why. I, I believe this back card here is going to be the expensive card. But uh, let's take a look and see if we can get this focus right. We have a Totodile. We have a Goldeen. We have Starmie. That's cool. Wow. Lots of water Pokemon. We have, have another Starmie. We have a Seal. Pow Wow. Come on. Three Starmies. That sucks. Okay, we got a Kabuto. That's cool. This is ridiculous. Why? You could have mixed it up. The shop I got these from is a place called Dragon Star. Oh, there's a Growlithe. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's such a pretty card. Oh my God. That's beautiful. I don't remember this card actually. Wow. Okay. And then we have, ta-da. Oh, we got a Dark Golbat. Very, very cool. Now, it's very faded, you can see, but the actual, the surface is not so bad. On the back, it's kind of clean. It's clean. Wow, very cool. Okay, let's sleeve these up. Wow, so I wonder if every single one of these has a holographic. That would be cool. Um, oh, no, it doesn't want to go in properly. But anyway, I will sort that out later. <laughs> but uh, let's move on to packet number three. So yeah, these came from a place called Dragon Star. They, if you're looking for places to buy cards in Japan, that is a great place to start. They have a lot of cool cards there, and they also have quite a few old Pokemon cards. I don't know how often they have these these kind of things in stock, but uh, if they get them in, definitely buy some. They're, this is kind of fun. All right, we got a Kabuto, Cinder Quill. Oh, look at you! Ah, oh. there's a Horsey, another Horsey I haven't seen before. There's oh, Erica's Bell Sprout. That's cool. Weedle! Oh, it's an original Weedle! Uh, for those of you that don't know, there are two types of the first release of Pokemon cards. We have ones with the kind of mark at the bottom and ones without. If you have cards without the mark, those are really expensive if they're in good condition. 
Oh, we got a Team Rocket Voltorb. That's cool. We have a Sabrina's Jinx. Oh my god, it's the racist Jinx. Oh no. I thought these were banned. Wow. Okay. Well, we got a banned card. Oh, I hope I get a Kadabra. Oh my god. Oh, oh that'd be cool. There's a Pokemon Scoop. I can't, I can't remember. There's an Ivysaur. Oh no. Oh, I mean, oh no isn't like, oh damn. Hell yeah. Oh, let's go. And uh, we have... Oh, we have a Yanma. Very, very cool. Very nice. Oh, look at that swirl. Look at that holographic swirl. That's beautiful. And again, the condition of this card is actually pretty tight. In the back as well is very, very nice too. There may be a little... There's a little kink down here, so... Wow. Wow. So... These have got to be worth more than, like, the five bucks that I paid for each packet. These are damn nice. All right, we're three in. We've still got seven to go. Um, I, I kind of want to go quicker with these because I don't want to waste your time, but it's... God, I get, that feels horrible. Oh, no. What is that? Because uh, I just... Yeah, I don't want to waste you guys' time. Right, we have a Teddy Ursa. I don't know what set this is from. This looks like it's from some... Chikorita release with that big number. I'll have to double check because I don't know. That's a very nice looking card. We have a Zatu or Exatu. I don't know really how you pronounce it. There's a lantern. That's cool. There's another lantern from a different set. There's a Chincho or a Chinchao, however you want to say it in Japanese. Chinchi. <laughs> Chonchi. Chonchi. We have, oh, nice. A kind of 3D Goldeen. Very cool. Oh, we have a Pokemon Transfer, a Pokemon Switch, or I think in English it's called Switch, right? We have, oh, there's a Dratini, a Team Rocket Dratini. Very cool. My God, this is taking back, this is bringing back like so many memories. There is a Farfetch'd and whatever this weird texture card is. Oh, okay. Wow, it's one of the something Islands cards. These came in like three card sets and there's like a special shiny Mew and stuff. We had these in the West too, if I recall correctly. This texture is horrible. I really don't know what is going on there. But um, yeah, I don't know if that's a win or a loss, but those cards are nice. And those cards are actually kind of hard to get too, but uh, very cool. All right, on to packet number five. My God, this is uh, taking a lot of time. So we have Magnemite. Excellent. Another Goldeen. So I'm getting quite a few doubles. Also, I'm shaking because I, I, I love these old cards. Oh my god. Alright. There is a seal. There is another seal. There's a Standler. That's cool. Oh, there's some Blaine something. Something blood. I don't know. There's another Standler. Come on. Like, why are this... Ugh. There's a Tauros. Nice jungle. I think it's one of our first jungle cards. We uh, we got the Vaporeon, didn't we? There's another Kabuto. Oh, they probably had an excess of Kabuto. And Heracross! Oh, wow. Oh, this is excellent. I remember this card so clearly because it's fighting Pinsir. Damn. And again, that is such a nice quality card. I have no clue what the value of this is. It, thankfully, it doesn't have so many of those weird like, splotches on it. The back as well is nice and clean too. There is a scratch down the bottom I saw, but uh, excellent. Wow. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. This is taking a bit of time to get back into the sleeve. Okay. I've got five more of these left. So uh, let's take a look at packet number six. And guys, if you are still here, thank you so much for sticking. God damn it. Stop putting Kabudos in here. All right, another Kabuto. It's a Star Me. Very cool. I don't think I have the Japanese one of this. So nice original Star Me. Now I have two. Now I have three. Oh my God. If you're going to make one of these packs, seriously, put some alternative cards in here. We have Remoraid. There's a Dratini. There's a Gloom. It's cool. It's nice Gloom art too. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing away. We got Jumpluff. Jumpluff is very cool as well. I believe this actually got a re-release in the Scarlet and Violet set recently, in the new kind of Clayburst Snow Hazard sets. I think it was in Clayburst, if I recall. But uh, very cool. Packet number six. Packet number seven. Now, I opened this video by talking about gambling, 
because in Japan, gamb oh God, look at that. gambling is hugely illegal here. However, a lot of companies or a lot of places like these trading card shops will sell Oripa original packs. Basically, it's a way for people to try to gamble. It's addictive for a lot of people and it's cost a lot of people a lot of money. Um, but you can win big on them. It just, it is what it is. I mean, I'll call it for what it is, it is gambling. There is a Mareep, nice yellow Mareep too. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, there's a nice different Mareep with a horribly damaged corner. Oh my God. There's a Mantike. That's cool. Mantike. We also have Goldeen. We have another Mantike. We have another Staryu. We have another Switch. And I don't want to know what this card is. It's so beat up. It's a Victory Bell. That is a horribly beat up card. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is horrible. Well... That's probably worth zero yen, so I just won't even put a total on the screen for that one. Ooh. All right, packet number eight. So to the back. All right, we've got Erica's Gloom. Wow, that is a dark gloom. Why is that so dark? Okay. <laughs> there is Brock's Rhyhorn. There is Blaine's Vulpix. Wow, these are all kind of gym leader cards. That's cool. That is beautiful. Look at that. Vulpix is such an adorable Pokemon. There's another Vulpix. This one's Brock's Vulpix. Are they from the exact same set? Maybe they are. Looks like they are. They're from the gym set. Wow, that's cool. There's a Sugoi Tsuri Zao. So that is a super rod or a great rod. Oh, wow. There's an Electabuffs and LT Surge. It's a nice stadium. There's a Magnemite. There's a Krabby. And... <gasps> oh, it's Alakazam. Very cool. It's a Rocket's Alakazam. Back when you could actually get these cards. <laughs> Ooh. And it's cool because the illustration is actually by Ken Sugimori, like one of the original illustrators. Very, very nice. That's a cool looking card. And again, the quality of that's pretty nice too. I have been collecting old Pokemon cards for a little while here in Japan. I have a binder which is trying to fill up slowly with... Oh, I ran the wrong way. <laughs> which I'm slowly filling up... Oh my god, okay. Uh, which I'm slowly filling up with old cards. A lot of these cards I don't have, so this is super cool. We got one of the capsule cards. This is a capsule ghastly and basically these came out of like little gacha machines so that is damn cool wow i wonder if that's worth any money that's cool um there oh, is a sunken oh, that's cool very cool there is another sunken there is a cedra there's a crabby there's another crabby paris there's also a gloom nice jungle gloom oh giovanni's magic cup that's a cool looking card look at that very nice. And we have... Oh, very cool. We have Brock's Rhyhorn. No, Rhydon. See, even the old Pokemon I sometimes get confused with. That is super, super cool. Damn, look at that. All right, so let's put these back into here. We have one more packet left. And this is the one that has the kind of sticker on it. So I'm super curious to see what is in here. Let's see if we can get anything good. So back card to the back. We have a... Koga? Kuga? Koga? Koga's Zubat. We have Pidgey. Oh, damn. Look at that. That's so cool. Magnemite. Oh, wow. Lots of original cards. Oh, missing cards. What is this? Ah, oh, this was a special Japan only release card. Lucky Sta Stadium. I can't remember this character, but if you can get like the alternative one with just him on it, like that's worth like, I think $5,000? Six. I don't recall, but uh, very nice. We have a Blaine's Vulpix. We have a Natu. We have a Dodrio. We have a Paris. We have a Blaine's Rhyhorn. And we have... Oh my god! Whoa! That's Arcanine, right? Oh my god, sorry. That is a beautiful card. Look at that! Oh my god, that's so cute! Uh, that's from the same set as that Growly from earlier, right? Oh my god. Ah, it's a Yasashi Windy. So it's a kind of good or light Arcanine. Oh my goodness. Wow, what's the quality of this card like? Oh, so sorry, the focus is really weird on my camera. Is this card okay? I mean, it's got a bit of kind of like bleed on the end there, which is a shame. But uh, the back's nice. My god, that is a beautiful card. Oh, what a cool, cool Pokemon. Wow, what a nice way to end it. All right, I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna take one quick look very carefully at the cards that we just got. So, 
And I'll just look at the holographics. We got a lot of other stuff, which is amazing, honestly. Still can't believe we got a capsule card. So we got the nice Arcanine. We got the nice Raidon. We got the Dark Alakazam. Victory Bell, very, very damaged. We got a uh, Jumpluff. We also got a Heracross. We have the nice kind of Islands Lickitung. There's a Rattata in the background too. We also have a Yanma. We have a Golbat and a case that just doesn't want to hold all these cards very well. And we have a Blaine card. Wow, that's excellent. God, that's so cool. It's amazing that you can buy old cards like this. And it's kind of cool that you can actually turn it into like a fun game where you just get these stuff. I'm guessing a lot of this stuff is just bulk that they're trying to get rid of. And honestly, that's totally fine by me because if it helps people who want to yeah, screw it. This isn't working. Who want to kind of get like a nostalgia trip and actually try to remember these old cards. This is a great way for you to kind of pick them up. So if you're in Japan, definitely check out some of these shops. See if you can have or find anything called Olipa. In Japanese, it's more Oripa. Like it's more of an R sound. So just ask them, do you have Oripa? They'll probably have something. So uh, yeah, there you go. So if you liked today's video, please give us a like. Please subscribe. I've got more Pokemon stuff coming your way. So I'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. These are amazing. These really are. That is a beautiful card. My God. Maybe this is the trick. Maybe because it's the only one with a damn sticker on it. This is the one that has something good in it. But again, I don't actually know the value. So now I've got to go check. Giving myself more work.